What is the first brand uh, that uh, Vijay sir started? I want to jump oh, into wow. that. What is the first brand? Everybody thinks, uh, being Ruslan. very honest with you, Ruslan is okay. No, no. What was the first brand? Ruslan was the first Jowlakhel Dry Gin. Jowlakhel Dry Gin? Yes, it used to sell more than Ruslan. Huh. You had a Cleopatra whiskey. Pani thio. People used to drink gin back in the day. Of course. Uh-huh. The British influence was strong. Hmm. Gin is a great drink for the summer heat. True. It used to sell more than vodka. Hmm. And our Cleopatra whiskey was a big brand. Cleopatra whiskey. Yes. Of the yeah. older, maybe the fathers or grandfathers would hmm. remember. It's older than Ruslan. Uh-huh. And the country liquor, tha, there was a brand called Special Number One. Special <laughs> Number One? one. Okay, whiskey thio? No, it was... Uh, Roxy. 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 Uh. Country liquor, but eh? low alcohol, but mass. Sorry, Roxy. Mass, mm-hmm. mass distribution. Uh-huh. And that was that still is three times, ten times the size of our organized uh, premium liquor. Premium liquors. Yeah. And then how did Ruslan come to play? Ruslan's an interesting story. Uh, it's, 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 everybody it's, wants to know this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, the fun thing is next year is our 50th anniversary. Of Ruslan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of the oldest brands. Forget companies. Oldest brands of Nepal. Owned by one company. Hmm. There are other brands, but they've been bought and sold by a dozen different companies, or at least half a dozen. So Ruslan, in those times, Mm -hmm. when my father was building his distillery, this was early 70s, USSR was very big. True. There was a lot of Soviet influence mm. and f- that time Hamro Boris Lasanovich the famous Boris Lasanovich of everyone knows right, he had a Russian friend come over who was a distiller and what's I need Boris Jile Miro Boala Chinara Boris Sarko restaurant to you I know while let's I need to Miro Boala introduce got it he worked with my father on designing the plant, the Jalakil Distri plant, mm. to be a vodka plant. And while any name deal, Ruslan, while any label banayo, Ruslan, he said this is a good name. This is a very popular name in Russian. It sounds Russian. It's very good. And it's a our Ruslan vodka is a Russian recipe, mm. and a Russian recipe designed for smoothness, because Nepali are they like to have a good time, but they like to wake up fresh. Mm. And when you ask, when you ask the average Nepali, how does this taste? They're like, give me a bottle, I'll tell you in the morning. <laughs> oh, they, people actually, the real drinkers tell us this. Of course. But that's how it started. It started in the early 70s, mm-hmm. 60s, they came, and it, the plant also was tuned to make vodka. And that's how it did well. And Tiobelama, Russia was big. USSR mm-hmm. was very powerful. I'm an engineer, Aru. If you look at all your senior engineers, Russia doesn't know. No. So the Russian influence was strong and vodka slowly, slowly picked up well. Because a scotch whiskey was expensive. It was imported. So it was not possible for the average Nepali. And, and most Nepalese people could not afford to drink that. And if they did, to party Makantio. Most of the people, anyone who's, I would say, above 45, they learned how to drink from Ruslan or from Kukri, hmm. another uh, landmark brand. Uh, true, Nepal. true. Uh, no shadow of a doubt uh, on that. Oily summer bani, Kukri bani, Sagibishi, Ruslan bani, Sagibishi. It's embedded in our system. Yeah. And if you have to gift somebody, you'd either gift to Ruslan, yeah. you'd gift a Kukri, Kukri coming with its own uh, Kukri oh. itself. Oh.